Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Oh my goodness, you guys, wait until you see this Bolo. She picked this up at a garage sale in a tote of action figures, and there was an item lurking in there that sold for $999.95. I know the thumbnail says 1K, but I mean, we're five cents off, right? So I just rounded up. But oh my goodness, wait until you see this in an action figure tote from a garage sale. All right, let's get started. I am Bolo Buddies and I have a Facebook group. And if you're not in it, the link is down below under my link tree. And you can join and share one of your Bolo items, an item to be on the lookout for. And I will feature it in a video like this. Shout out your YouTube channel, social media, platforms you sell on, and I will shout it out in the video. So we're going to start here with the first one. And what I invite everybody to do is to share their big money bolos, items they picked up cheap and sold for a profit. The first one is Hugs So Bright Build-A-Bear with Hello Kitty Dress. Now, I don't know if this sold for big money because of the bear or because of the dress. The Hello Kitty dresses can sometimes be a bolo in themselves. Let's see if she wrote anything. Bought this Build-A-Bear at Goodwill for $1.19. Only purchased it because it has tags. Come to find out that the dress it has on was a Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear outfit. Put it on eBay auction with a buy it now auction. I'm sorry, buy it now option sold in less than five minutes. So if it's sold in less than five minutes, that tells me that this would have been a good auction to let ride because who knows what that would have gone for. It's kind of hard to see the dress, but I guess this is Hello Kitty. So if anybody knows anything about that dress, let us know down in the comments. This one is awesome and probably passed by all the time. It is a vintage Carter's bib. Snap vinyl backed elephant peanuts, 15 by 10, says USA Mint. And I would say for um, probably a vintage bib for it to be in this good of condition is probably rare. Be uh, I'm sorry, bought at the bins for $1.89 a pound. So probably 25 cents. Found it digging in the linens. I knew it was good, but didn't realize how good. I did tens of tons of research. Couldn't find anything similar or any info on vintage Carter's baby bi bibs. Man, sorry guys. Listed at $51.99 and sold within a few hours. Oh my goodness. Buyer reached out and asked if I had more vintage bibs. Out of curiosity, I asked if he was a collector because I'm wanting to learn more about the baby bibs. He said no, he was using for a child. $51.99 for a child to wear and get stuff all over? It's a bib. Oh my goodness. Put it in a frame. $51.99. I'd be putting that in a frame if I paid that much. <laughs> oh boy. What do you guys think about the bib? Let me know in the comments. This is a Sony Walkman, and these are definitely collectible. Paid $10, sold for $125, best offer. If you see the uh, Sony Walkmans, or any Walkman for that matter, definitely look them up, even if they are not sealed. This is definitely a bolo. If you don't know about the aluminum Christmas trees, this one comes with the color wheel. The color wheel is also a bolo. Uh, these are great. Looks like it sold for $700. They picked it up at a garage sale for $50 and sold in a couple months. Definitely a bolo, guys. And the color wheel, it's not in the photo, but it basically puts different colored lights onto the tree. So both are a bolo. Ralph, I'm sorry, Loren, Ralph Loren, floral man, mandarin blue coupe cereal bowls. I don't know if I said all that right, but I know, I know that I say Loren, wait, Ralph Loren, Loren, is it Lauren or Loren? I always say Loren, but I think I say it wrong. You guys let me know how you say it in the comments. Adding another one for the needle in a haystack treasures on eBay. I was actually looking for some bowls for myself. I saw these on the shelf at Goodwill. Thought they were pretty, but I figured I probably wouldn't be keeping them once I turned them over and saw the brand. I paid $4.32 for the set and took a best offer of 100 plus shipping. Nice. This is a Bluey plush Mackenzie. So it's from the show Bluey, but it, the dog is called Mackenzie. 
Bought this black and white Bluey McKenzie plush at Goodwill for $1.79 and sold it for $31.66 after five days listed on Mercari. So this was a quick flip. And I've been seeing a lot of the Bluey characters doing pretty good. Uh, the only reason I looked it up is because I know how popular Bluey has been recently. Usually I look right past the newer modern toys, but I'm glad I didn't skip this one. This is Kyland Collectibles on Mercari. And... Kylan Collectibles on Whatnot. Thanks for sharing. You guys, Whatnot, if you're not on Whatnot, so I don't know if this seller sells plush on Whatnot or other items, but uh, check me out. I'm Bolo Buddies over there, and they are Kylan Collectibles. It's K-Y-L-A-N-D-K-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-B-L-E-S. Again, I'm not sure what they sell, but maybe stuffed animals if you're into stuffed animals. So uh, Whatnot is an online selling app where you can sell things auction style. I tell you guys on the platforms that I list things high and I wait for the right buyer. I'm the complete opposite on Whatnot. I start every item at $5 or less and just run it. A lot of items sell for my asking price, my start price, and other items get bids. But I try to keep it competitive because I know a lot of resellers come over and that leaves some uh, meat on the bone for them to resell the item. Again, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Hope you guys will come to a show. I usually do random um, grab and sell style. I do a lot of jewelry, but there is a link down below. It is my referral link and you will get $15 to shop if you join Whatnot with that. So if you're thinking about selling on Whatnot, for me, it's more of a, I'm selling a bunch of items at a lower price where a platform is I'm selling less items at a higher price. Uh, profit point, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So um, yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I do have tutorials, Bolo Buddies, Whatnot for Beginners. If you pull those up, it'll teach you how to sell. And I have a seller's referral link down there. Also, it'll let Whatnot know that I referred you. The next item is the one in the thumbnail, the one I talked about at the beginning, $999.95 plus shipping. So really, it sold for over 1K. Would you have ever guessed that this would be worth so much money? It's a USAAF World War II Women's Air Service Pilot WASP Wing Jostin, and it's marked Sterling. She said, I bought this in a tote of action figures at a garage sale. It was being used as an accessory for the GI Joes. I probably have 50 cents or less into the piece and it sold for full asking price. I probably could have gotten even more, but I have an, I have an incredibly happy buyer. So I'm thrilled with what I got. Wow. That is fabulous. This must be a really hard to find piece. Uh, this one comes from childhood fine. She's fabulous. She's on uh, YouTube also definitely check her out to see her what solds, but she finds some really good stuff and has a lot of knowledge. So follow her there. This one is a Kate Spade purse, rare ice cream truck. <laughs> it's an ice cream truck purse. Check that out, guys. Kate Spade bought this at a flea market for $4 and sold it for $275 on Mercari. Accepted an offer, had it listed for $310 after checking comps. This is vintage 1985 Franklin Mint, Gloria Vanderbilt porcelain spice jars, a lot of 22. So says, I found these jars at a yard sale and knew they were special. Paid $10 for the wooden rack, recipe cards, and the jars. One jar broke at the yard sale and another was glued back together. Decided to keep the recipes, rack, and glued jar for decor. So the set was incomplete and still sold for 150 plus shipping. I was thrilled. Thank you for all your content. I've learned a lot. And use your links. So I'm now on Whatnot and Mercari. Oh, thank you so much for using my links. I appreciate that very much. Um, I even ordered my first hat from Seems So Vintage. I'm Jazz Cats, this and that on eBay, Mercari, and Whatnot. Yes, you ordered the hat. Awesome. I love my hats. I actually have one sitting here. I'm going to wear it in my uh, next video I do because it matches my shirt. Thank you so much for sharing. And you guys, if you're looking for an awesome hat, check out Seems So Vintage. I will try to remember to show this at the end of the show. But you guys, if you come over to Whatnot, you've seen me show them and I wear them in all my videos, a lot of my videos, not all of them. But uh, yeah, seems so vintage. 
on whatnot has the hats and i think she's about sold out so you may have to wait until her show she's going to do a handmade show and her goal is to have 20 different hats so uh, definitely stay tuned for that and make sure you're following her so the next one says found these gorgeous longenberger heisey glass clydesdales at goodwill a few towns over an employee had left brand new cart uh, i'm sorry unattended while she checked out a customer so of course i took a peek and found the first one took a lap around the store while i consulted google and discovered a sold comp for a pair so of course i had to go back to the cart and see if they were there was a second one i was delighted to find it under a stack of books i paid six for the pair and took a best offer of 130. you can find me at the atomic eight shop on ebay and poshmark so they are longenberger heisey moser glass clydesdale horse figurine set of two and they're crystal this one here is interesting Found a bag of this brand, Bionic, Bionox, I don't know how to say that, in a Goodwill for $8. There were four products in the bag, so $2 a piece. This is my first one sold, 157 plus shipping, anti-aging products. So I don't know what this is, guys, but it says it's brand new. So just remember if it's um, perfume, um, anything, Can wait, I forget. Let's see perfume makeup and creams they all have to be not expired they can't be expired and they have to be um brand new so make sure that you check that before listing just to be safe guys and the next one is this con air heated hot lotion dispenser warmer body hand and it says baby lather machine and it sold for 38 dollars. she said Paid three for this and it sold for 38 plus shipping on Mercari. And she said, it's not clothing. I always laugh because this comes from piece of scrap and she sells a lot of clothing, but she will from time to time do hard goods. So $38 plus shipping. Great little bolo. Yeah. If you see those, those have been um, selling. I, I've heard about these before. So definitely probably one that sells pretty good consistently. So let me show you the hat. So this is mine. And I just love this color. And this has buttons on it, all right? She also will use clip-on earrings and um, different things. But I just ordered two, and I got them without the buttons. And I just got them plain. I have it on crooked. And I'm going to put vintage brooches on there. Won't that be fun? And then I can switch them out. So you can also custom order one without buttons. And you can tell her like what kind of buttons you want. If you do want buttons or clip on, she can give you some ideas of what she has. But yeah, won't that be fun? So I, I bought a yellow and a teal with no buttons. So I'm excited to swap out some of my vintage brooches. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, that is Seams So Vintage. It's Seams, S-E-A-M-S, -E and then S-E-W, and then the word vintage, Seams So Vintage. It's all one word lowercase on whatnot. So check her out. Again, that $15 to shop is down there. You can put it towards a hat. Great Christmas gift. Great for winter. Love it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, Seems So Vintage also made that guy. Isn't he cool? <laughs> Love it. All right. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day.